Hello, this is Sir Shayan with you and welcome to the Intellectual Leaders Academy. This lesson is not going to be too long. It's only three slides, but I have separated this lecture from the previous one. This lecture is about scarcity and we are going to discuss scarcity in details. But before I move on, I would like to tell you one thing. This lecture is going to be in English. Those who want to watch the same lecture in Urdu language, the link is there up and in the description below you can watch the same lecture in urdu so without further delay let's move on okay what is the main economic problem or the basic economic issue ah, this is the issue when I ask some people what is the main economic problem, students tell me, sir, basic economic problem is uh, education. Basic economic problem is crime. No, the basic economic problem is, yes, education is an issue. Crime is also an issue. But in business language, in business studies and economics, we are going to study today scarcity. Scarcity is basically the concept that People have unlimited wants, but the resources in this world are limited. People have unlimited wants, but the resources are limited. Okay, there are unlimited wants, but limited resources to produce. Getting my point, guys? I think it's uh, clear to you. Scarcity means shortage. Mainly, we say scarcity is basically called shortage. The state of being scarce or oh, in short supply shortage common example is gold why is gold so expensive have you ever thought why is gold so expensive do you think the uh, extraction of gold is an easy task no to extract gold you have to dig a lot you have to even dig into the mountains you have to have long big factories and then these raw material is taken to those factories and then so gold is basically uh, a scarce item okay that is the reason it's a very expensive diamond is more scarce you will find you will not find diamond broadly as like the iron you see as like the the stones you see on the road no that is the reason these are scarce so the wishes of people are unlimited wishes of people are unlimited but the resources available to meet those needs wants or wishes are basically limited so let's move on so now what is called scarcity discuss mr thomas sowell in 1930s he said the first lesson of lesson of economics or in business as well is scarcity and the first lesson of politics is to disregard the first lesson of economics i will give you one million i will give one million to one person if i become a prime minister if i become president i will give this much number of jobs i will give this much number of these things and so on when politicians make promises with you they just speak they don't know the numbers the figures the scarcity of resources we cannot distribute money like this the way they are telling you that okay we will do it no so this is basically the concept of scarcity, okay? And uh, scarcity refers to the basic economic problem, the gap between the limited resources and limitless wants. Wants are always unlimited. So the gap between these two things is, is scarcity. The situation requires people to make decision about how to allocate resources efficiently. I discuss an example. You have got $100 with you. And uh, you need to be satisfied as well. Can you buy in $100 everything? Obviously not. You need to allocate the resources. What is your resource? Your resource is $100. Okay. And you have to allocate those $100 efficiently. Some amount here, some amount here, some amount there, and some amount there. In order to be satisfied. Because you know the resources what you have in your pocket are limited. And the wants which you see are unlimited. Are you getting my point? So basically the concept of factors of production, 
allocation of resources is related to scarcity. That's the reason I made a separate video for this. Okay, let's move on. So the situation requires people to make decision about how to allocate resources efficiently in order to satisfy basic needs and as many additional wants as possible. If you apply the same concept on your house, if you apply the same concept on your parents, you will see them that they don't spend too much money on the luxuries. Basically, they allocate the resources efficiently. Let's discuss the example of uh, uh, Pakistan. Okay, it's time to discuss an imaginary case study because I want to teach you scarcity in a macro concept as well, not only in micro. Just imagine if the government of Pakistan is worried about the large number of people who cannot afford the basic needs of life, even rich citizens are always complaining that the country is not producing enough luxuries that they can buy. Do you think that government of Pakistan should start printing notes? Or what if they start printing notes? Do you think it is going to solve the problem? The answer is a big no. Number one. Number one, if they start printing notes, it will bring inflation. And another thing is people will have money in their pocket, but there will be the shortage of products. Obviously, everybody wants to buy this, buy that, buy this, buy that. People will have more purchasing power, but there are no enough resources available. So in this case, when there is a shortage of supply, the prices go up. It will be the worst solution if any country thinks to do it. Okay, so I believe the concept of scarcity is very clear. The answer to all these questions is simply no, because more money does not produce more goods and services. Yes. It will just lead to the price rises. Okay, so we this 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 concept will be discussed in economics lecture as well. My main um, point was to teach you scarcity in a separate lecture so that no concept shall be mixed with another one. If you want to watch the previous video, the link is there. The link is in the description. You can check it is in the playlist as well. And uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, you can. And one more request, if you want me to make videos on any other topic that you want to study, suggest me in the comments below. I will make a video on that, inshallah. Thank you so much for watching.